Love, light, and blessings. Shamanic Awad Priestess here. Welcome to day 28 of 29 Days of Melanated Excellence. Um, I wanted to touch a little bit more on um, community. Um, I feel like sometimes um, some people feel like Oh, like I talked about initiation and I feel like it is important, but the most important thing is learning, right? Learning, finding a mentor, because I feel like there's a lot of misinformation sometimes on social media, in books, things of that nature. There's a lot of bastardizing, whitewashing, um, all these things. Um, with that being said, um, a lot of people these days are practicing solitary because they're having a hard time finding community, you know, um, and things of that nature. Um, and so, um, you know, now with the availability of social media, people are finding out, hey, there are these really powerful uh, black spirits, these African spirits that are powerful, these indigenous spirits that are powerful and wanting to make that connection, um, wanting to leave what they feel is colonized religions and kind of um, connect with that ancestral energy prior to colonization. And I think that's a beautiful and wonderful thing um and everything like that but there's people that just see initiation uh because you have scam artists you have people that are very controlling you have people that are giving misinformation it gives them a bad feeling or bad thoughts about uh initiations some people see it as controlling which i've already did a video on that so i'm not gonna continue to speak on that but there are good sides to initiation. So if you want to work for other people, that's awesome because you could help people. Um, and also when you initiate, you're also becoming part of a spiritual community. And if we're getting to the roots and bones of everything, these religions are and were created to be community-based religion. That doesn't mean you don't have shrines and altars in your home. That doesn't mean you don't pray to the spirits, solitary or whatever the case may be, but in reality, many of our rituals are done um, with uh, people. There is power in numbers. It's not about this person controls that person. It's about community. Um, and that's why I was so happy when I finally found a community because um, it's not just even about doing rituals. It's beautiful to be part of a house because um, People can support each other. People can be there for each other. You have that sense of fellowship. You grow with each other. You learn with each other. Um, you know that if the chips are down, your spirit house has your back um, and things like that. And me, being someone that had a background in Christianity, one of the things I missed when I left the, you know, when I left uh, the fundamentalist religion I was a part of was having that sense of community. Um, you know, being able to talk to my brothers and sisters, my siblings, um, and the people from the congregation, um, and things of that nature. So I really, really loved that. Um, and so I feel like a lot of people like to put down and think that, oh, if you become part of a house, you're going to somehow lose, uh, your practice or whatever. That's not always the case. I feel like it's just all about, like I always say, if something's meant for you, it's going to happen. It's all about finding that right place, that right community, and that right group. Um, and that's what I did. When I stopped looking for it is when I actually found it. And it was through a client who was looking for someone to teach her about Santeria, which I was happy to mentor her. And she was like, I, you know, felt like I'm supposed to teach you voodoo, which basically she said, word for word what I asked for. I said, if I'm supposed to be in this path because all these spirits are calling, I want my teacher to come to me because every time I look, um, every time I get impatient, I'm being scammed, um, I'm being taken advantage of, so on and so forth, and that's what happened. Like, my actual teacher came directly to me. My actual teacher found me. And so I feel that's important that um, once you stop seeking things out, things will come naturally to you. And so that's basically um, what happened. And so 
Um, I love it because the, there's certain times of the year and things like that, important get togethers that we do that really, um, like it's such a beautiful thing to celebrate parties with the spirits within community. Like th there's just a lot to be said for that. So I just wanted to share that with you. Don't close yourself off just because you were practicing solitary. doesn't mean you're not going to find the right teacher. doesn't mean you're not going to find the right community. It took me a long time to find mine. And I'm very happy in the community that I'm a part of, okay? So I just wanted to leave you with that. And that's day 28. We have one more video I'm recording today to end this wonderful series that I just so appreciate you guys um, being a part of, watching, participating. Please like, please comment below. I am going to try this weekend to catch up with my comments, okay, guys? Much love and light. Bye.